Hello students. Today, let us learn lesson number 7 from the EVS textbook for standard 5. Let us solve our own problems. So come along then. Let's read and understand it. This is part 2. For a complete lesson, do watch part 1 and 2. You'll get the link in the description box below. This video was made just for you. Do remember to like, share and subscribe. Now let's learn about the problem solving. Have you heard about these attempts at solving problems? So let's see how the village was able to solve the problem. In Hewari Bazaar. In the village of Hewari Bazaar in Ahmednagar district, water shortage was a big problem. So we had seen it in the first picture given um, that girl was facing water shortage, isn't it? There was only three days in a week that she was getting water. So even Hewari Bazaar was get, having water shortage, that was shortage of water. This problem was solved with the help and participation of the villagers. So the villagers themselves came out with a solution. That is, they sat together and they found a solution. The problem of animal feed was also solved. So there was a problem of animal feed, that is, food that is given to the animals. So there was shortage on that also. And that also they could solve the problem. Now, Hewari Bazaar has lush green surrounding. So, lush green means full of very, very, very much green surroundings. So, first they were facing water shortage. So, plants, trees, crops could not grow well. But now, they have solved that problem. And so, Hewari Bazaar has lush green surrounding as well as there is ample water for the people. Not only that, they also solved the problem of animal feed. Now, many villages face water shortage. Find the reason for this and suggest solution. So, you could do some research from your part and find a village where there is a water shortage. Okay, so you could take the help of some of your elders, uh, maybe teachers in your school or maybe some other elders from your family or neighborhood and find out a village where it is facing water shortage and what could be the reason behind it. Okay, so you could solve this problem. Let's learn about another village, how they were able to solve their problems. So, cleaning a village through Shramadan. Shramadan means giving your efforts, giving your time to help. That is, voluntarily helping others. So, the people of Kudawadi village in Osmanabad district cleaned their village through Shramadan or voluntary contribution of labor. Labor means work. That is working for the betterment of the village without charging anything. So they decided that everyone should help in cleaning the village. So that is what was decided that there was a problem of garbage. You saw in the second picture, isn't it? The boy couldn't go to school. There was garbage piled everywhere. So what happened is they decided that everybody should help out. First, the waste water was dealt with. So, they've solved the problem of waste water. Maybe the water uh, was, you know, overflowing or not flowing properly, not flowing properly in the right place where it should go to. So, they solved that problem. Then, the garbage was used to make manure using vermiculture. Now, vermiculture is when worms are introduced to the soil. So, here the garbage is mixed with soil that is called the vermiculture. Soil and garbage is mixed and worms are introduced. So, these worms as they grow, they eat up the garbage and make the soil more fertile. So, that can be used as manure to the plants and to the crops also. So, it becomes, you know, the garbage is also cleaned and you have manure also. So, it becomes a two-way effect. Isn't it? And a toilet was built in each house. So maybe there were not toilets in all the houses. So people may be defecating on the roadside or open places, other places. So they saw that every house in the village should have a toilet. So that is what, this is how they were able to solve their problem of garbage being collected or the uh, whole village being dirty. So that is another way of, you saw that there was community. That is, all the people helped each other for this purpose. Now, let's see 
as to there were other personalities who taught the people how to uh, you know how to take care how to keep the environment clean how to uh, maintain cleanliness so one of them was sant gadge baba he used kirtans kirtans are holy songs or songs to help the people kirtans to stress that is to lay the importance stress the importance of keeping the village clean so he made little songs those were called kirtans to educate the people he told the people that we cannot make progress without cleanliness so he said cleanliness is very very important for the progress so everybody has to progress so everybody has to maintain cleanliness and not only cleanliness but he also taught them the importance of education and self reliance self reliance means not depending on anybody for your work so you have to be self reliant that is you should be able to take care of your own self without anybody's help he showed people how to clean the village through his own actions so gadvige baba himself would clean the streets and villages so looking at him all the people also started doing the same and that is how they could clean the environment so here was a saint who taught them by action now let's learn about another saint that is rashtra sant tukuroji maharaj explained the importance of cleanliness through his gram geet so he would sing songs and that is how he would teach the people so one of the song was miloni karave gram safai nali mori taki tai haste parhaste saaf sarvahi sahu kade marga so he he explained to them that everywhere everything whether it is nali whether it is any bathrooms washrooms we have to keep it clean and so we have to keep our gram safai gram means at the taluka level gram level at the village level so we have to keep everything and we have to do it in a very no, very uh, in a very peaceful and in a happy manner newspapers carry several articles about shramadan collect these articles discuss the things that can be achieved through it so newspapers bring about so many articles you know about how people keep their environment clean what are the efforts that the people are doing what is the efforts that the government is doing so you can collect these articles and display it on your notice board discuss about it in your classrooms and if you find that you know your your surroundings or uh, around your village or around your district level anyway that is not clean you could try to find solutions to it can you tell students do you think that there should be a group of peace keepers in your school so in your school a eh, uh, there should be peace keepers that is if there is problems faced by any students or maybe anybody else maybe teacher student or maybe some other uh, helpers in the school so do you think there should be peace keepers though that is Uh, students or people appointed to solve the problems of the various people in school do you think they should be there and um if there is then what criteria that is what will be the rules will you use to select the peacekeepers so how will you select on what basis will you select the peacekeepers in other words who should be peacekeepers third is which rules will you include in the rule book for these peacekeepers so which rules you will say that these people should follow the peacekeepers themselves should follow these rules and while solving the dispute this is the rules that they should follow so you should make a list of these rules also and what methods should peacekeepers use to solve the disputes so how should they do it whether they should sit down talk to talk to both of them or what are the other methods that they could uh, do to solve the problems of the people and how did you understand that disputes can be solved peacefully peacefully so how did you understand so how how will you understand that the disputes can be solved peacefully so try to answer these questions children for a society to be peaceful 
and the basic needs of all the sections need to be met that is for a society for the people in the society to be peacefully to be living in harmony peace no disputes at all so what is that the basic needs that is the needs of the people so that is food clothing water shelter so all these things should be met that is should be fulfilled of the people then of all the sections that is whether they are rich whether poor the old or whether they are young they are children so all these problems of everybody of the needs of the people should be met each person must get the necessary security so they should be feeling safe each person should not feel unsafe or should not feel that i am not looked after well society is discriminating against me so they should feel safe the exploitation in society must stop exploitation means uh, treating others unjustly not giving equal equal treatment for everyone so not practicing equality so that is called exploitation in the society so in the earlier chapter we had seen that there was a money lender or a business trader who was you know uh, not uh, showing the correct uh the balance or the accounts to that young person uh, the other person who was poor so and even in the next picture we had seen that the lady was not giving proper wages to her maid so that is exploitation and inequality must decrease so we should see that everybody is equal whether they are man woman rich poor young old everybody and everyone everyone must have the right to participate in public life so they should be able to do everything that is they should be allowed to vote they should be allowed to uh, have the hospital facilities the education facilities and all other things that is water there is electricity so all these facilities should be given equally to everyone by learning the importance of peace and by using peaceful methods we can create a peaceful environment in our family school and community so if you learn about various peaceful methods of how to solve the problem how to not create problems so we can have peace in all our surroundings with everyone in around us not only in our family but also in our school and in the community do you know students that in order to for peace to spread worldwide and for nations to be able to strive for the development of the people that is so that there is peace in the whole world okay everywhere and the nations that is all the countries of the world are able to strive strive means to work hard for the development of their people so that the people progress they become better and better 21st september has been designated designated means they have marked this date by the union un un is united nations it is a world organization it is an organization or organization means a group made to for to help the problems of the world okay this date that is 21st september uh, they have marked it as international peace day so international means all around the world all the countries all the people of the world okay so peace day on this day in new york okay new york is in united states that is america in your new york where the united nations have their headquarters headquarters means their main office is in new york on this day what they do is a bell is rung at 10 o'clock in the morning so they ring a bell at 10 o'clock in the morning and this is followed by a few moments of silence so after the bell is rung few minutes they keep silent okay so that there is they pray everybody prays for peace and harmony all around the world this bell has been made from coins given by people from around 60 nations so from around 60 nations we have this bell that is rung that is made okay so coins from the coins from 60 different nations this bell was made okay and if you would like to know more about this visit the following website so you can visit 
the website you can go to google and type this address website address and you can have more information about this organization and how they what they do what all the works they do and various other activities about the uh, uh, the united nations always remember if there is peace in the family school and society everyone will benefit that is if there is peace everywhere in the family in the school in the society everyone will benefit that is they will get the use of it they it will help them everyone will it will help okay and peace contributes significantly to the progress so it is because of peace that there is uh, significant significant means very important progress that happens in the society so there is a good amount of progress that happens in the society and it creates scope for advances in various fields so scope for advance means it gives a chance to advance advance means to make progress to do better in various fields like business industry education art literature entertainment science and technology so all these various fields there will be progress if there is peace among the people that is the people are not fighting with each other in this way peace becomes a social value rather than a personal need so uh, we need we need peace in our homes also in ourselves also but it, it should not remain with us only and we should help others also in the society also we should see that there is peace what we have learnt so let's revise what we learnt in this lesson today everyone has a responsibility to solve problems in civic life so everyone should participate in solving problems so we should not create problems and we should try that there is no problems around us so in civic life means in our day to day life problems can be solved if everyone cooperates so there is if there is cooperation everybody helps out then these problems can be easily solved dialogue and discussion can help solve disputes so whenever there are problems whenever there are disputes we should sit and talk to each other so that is called dialogue and discuss about the problems and find a solution to it disputes can be solved peacefully so without fighting isn't it without argument we can peacefully sit down discuss and talk to each other and find a solution to the problem if there is peace in the family school and society everyone benefits so it helps everyone everyone is uh, at peace when there is peace in the family school and society and peace is a social value so there should be peace in the society not only being peace among ourselves so there should be peace in the society there should be peace uh, in our surrounding peace in the nation peace in the whole wild world do solve the exercise that is given to you at the end of the chapter to check your answers you can visit our website at www.jkacademypro.com you'll get the link in the description box below do remember to like share and subscribe i hope you enjoyed the video i'm sure you may also enjoy the following videos you'll get the link in the description box below